Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and probably you have an old hard disk and you want to you know upgrade it to an SSD for faster performance and you know most of the time if you were to do that right, you have to reinstall Windows, reinstall all your apps and software. Alright, but today I'm going to show you a way where you guys can copy all your Windows OS all right, together with your data, your files and software exactly and migrate it safely to your new solid state drive how are you going to do that well it is with the help of this software right here so this is the 4ddig partition manager i have used this personally all right for when i upgrade my system from a hard disk to a solid state drive so uh, when i do that all right everything was really smooth and uh, i don't run into any issues at all and uh, it's the exact copy exact clone of what i have on my hard disk onto my solid state drive so it's really really awesome and this tool really really helps me save a lot of time rather than you know reinstalling windows reinstalling back all the software i had all my data and such all right so this is a really really helpful and useful tool that i would like to share with you guys today if you guys are trying to do the same thing or you know probably do and uh, other things with it as well so this software not only can clone you know from hard disk to ssd or hard disk to hard disk or ssd to hard disk all right it can also do a lot of other tasks like partition management all right manage your partition convert your drive from mbr to gpt etc etc et so it's really really awesome too all right that suits any of your needs so right now i'm going to just show you guys the software itself and talk about what are the different features that you can do on the software itself so without further ado let me just go ahead and show you guys the software itself let's go okay so this is the software itself and you guys can see this thing has a lot of a lot of features right over here but the main point today will be the cloned os disk all right so yeah this one can clone to a completely new disk so for example like i said earlier on if you have a pc that is probably running on a hard disk or right, it starts to get slow because you know hard disk might uh, degrade over time and it gets slower and slower all right and you are uh, you brought a new ssd so how you are going to do that all right just connect your ssd to your pc all right and connect your your hard disk already in your pc so just plug in your new ssd all right and click on clone os disk all right so this you no know, right now for example um for example if i'm I'm on my hard disk, for example, right? And I want to clone it to my solid state drive, which I don't have right now. All right. Yeah, so you can see, all right, it, it shows, you know, the system version and it shows, you know, the total amount EFI, MSR, and the C drive. All right, so you guys can see all the, da all the data inside here. Every single thing from your desktop will be exactly copied to the drive. So when you boot up from your SSD, it will be exactly the same. And the only difference is it will be a lot, a lot faster. So yeah, this one can save you a lot of time rather than, you know, reinstalling everything back. And you know, it's very time consuming. This is just, you know, you can use it. Use your new SSD in less than five minutes. It's that incredible. All right, depend on how big your data is. Right, so yeah, you can clone OS this. You can also clone data as well. So if you probably you probably have a new SSD and you don't want to clone Windows, probably you want to upgrade and shut, but you want to clone the data over, you can use the clone data. This so you clone all the data and you can see where to clone it to. Alright, or you can have clone partition as well. So you can clone certain partition you have on your drive into a new drive. So for the particular partition, you can also do that as well. So they also have three different um, types of features that you can choose from on, on how what are, what are your needs. Alright, they also have migrate OS as well. So this is just basically migrating the whole OS um, to another drive. Alright, this is one of the most useful thing I've used on this software as well. Alright, so th this one, because most of the time, let's say for Windows 10 or Windows 11, they need your drive to be in GPT mode. And if what, because most of the drive comes in G, uh, MBR mode. I have faced this issue many times before when trying to in, uh, install Windows 11 on my new system. Alright, it's always have this issue and you have to go through like probably 10 or 12 steps all right you have to like open terminal key some commands to convert it so it's a lot a very time consuming it took me about half an hour to one hour just to convert my drive or my brand new drive to gpt but with this software i can just convert it with an instant all right so you guys can see what drive so right now you can see my this drive is already gpt so um initially this drive all right this was the m.2 ssd that i bought all right there's the samsung you can see all right and um it was in mbr mode previously all right so right now it's converted to gpt so that i can install windows 11 and all the required files so if you were to need this you can also convert it very very convenient all right you don't have to go through like what i did like 
20 steps, 30 steps. All right, I spent like one one hour just to convert my drive in order to install Windows. It's pretty, pretty nonsensical, all right? And they have partition manager as well. So if you guys don't know what partition is, all right, if you go see on your system, all right, for example, I have local DC, I don't have any partition right here, all right, but maybe I can part it out like probably half of the drive for another forward, so it will show another one, probably local disk D, but it's on the same drive, so you can have multiple partition if you want to, and you can manage the partition using, oops, using this right here, so you can, um, you know, you can see, you can migrate, data erase, you can check your disk health state status. So yeah, you can do that on, on this as well. You have partition recovery, sometimes if you actually delete a partition and you want it back, all right, you can, you can choose, okay, you can scan to, you know, uh, get back the partition. Very useful tool as well. So uh, sometimes if you actually delete it, you can get back, um, you know, all the important files and data. All right, they have Windows download and upgrade as well. So especially this one is also very helpful. If most of the time, if you were to download from the Windows site, you will have to you know create a bootable drive, and you know you either you have to need a USB drive, a CD drive, or a bootable drive on one of the hard disks. All right, and after that you go to download it and install it. But if you don't have that, all right, you can use this. This is very useful too. You can uh, if you have a Windows there, you can use this tool to quickly upgrade to Windows 11. All right. And you can also download your your Windows easily right over here, so you don't have to go to the Windows site, download it, and then move it to your drive, move it to your USB drive or bootable drive for you over here. Very very simple, all right, and can save you a lot of time as well. All right, and this is the toolkit they have. They have multiple toolkit. They have like repair partition, repair boot. So sometimes when you boot up got some issues, this one can also help repair. So sometimes Windows boot up, you know, sometimes we have like, some corruptions happen to me many many times. All right, you can re um, erase data all right so this one is especially useful so for example if you don't want to hard this or you don't want the ssd all right because if you do know uh when you although you deleted all your files all right on, on windows it will shows deleted but in actual thing it's not deleted it's probably like converted to like bits array where it, you know it could be overwritten but if it's not overwritten it will not show up in the in the os but the data is still there and still can be, be recovered at anyone who knows how to do data recovery. So with this one, all right, it will completely erase it or you overwrite all the bits and data that is, you know, available to overwrite on the new SSD so that, you know, it is, your data is completely gone. So no other tool or other recovery solution can recover your data at all. So this is a really useful tool if you really want to wipe everything out and don't want anyone to see. Alright, this is a really, really useful tool. And this one is also a backup data from one bootable computer. You can create some backup data if you have really important files and you want to back them up. You can also use this tool as well. Then, you know, if you're getting this software, you not only get like this feature only, you get the whole every other thing as well. So um, sometimes if your friend need to convert, you know, MBL GPT, you can help them as well if you have this software. And sometimes if you want to clone multiple days, all the features will be here. So like I said, I've used this software, all right, to convert my migrate my system over to the new uh, drive and um, you know convert MBR to GPT and um, after that all right, I don't have any issues at all it's super reliable all right and until now it's, I still don't have any issues and it's really really great all right if so if you're looking for a really good um, safe and reliable solution to all the needs that you have with your drive all right you guys definitely check out this 40dig partition manager and trust me it's really really good all right um, and it's really save you a lot of time so if you guys want to check out this one i'll link them the first link in the video description down below for you guys to go ahead and check it out so that's all for today guys if you find this video really interesting and really helpful all right and did help to solve your problem do let me know in the comment section as well and without further ado this is jforce gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video Peace out. I don't want to cry.